Okay, guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to master trading as a beginner using supply demand, price action, market structure, and all those good stuff. So this is going to be a video series, and as you can see, let's get started. So first and first, you want to come to the indicator section here and search for an indicator called session because you want to trade according to the session because this strategy session is very important because you want to trade only the London session for this strategy. I already have this on my chart. So the next indicator you want to add on is supply demand zone. This is going to help you find supply and demand zones in the market. I already have all this added on my chart as you can see right here. So let me close that real quick. Um, one thing, the first thing first you want to do is, you know, find structures in the market. And as you can see, uh, look for equal highs and equal lows. As you can see, there's an equal high here. So you mark that out. There's also an equal high, equal lows down here. Because as you can see, price went up, retested, went up again, made this equal highs, then came back. So the reason why I'm marking this out is because you can clearly, right, guys, you can clearly see that there's a manipulation here because there's liquidity sitting down here. There's liquidity sitting down here. When you see a move like this that did not continue the push to the downside, there is absolutely clearly 100%. Uh, well uh, there's not 100 percent in the market so i'll be i stand corrected but there's a 90 percent chance that if this next structure gets taken out after this um this push to the downside and grabbing of this, this um liquidity then this is a valid setup and as you can clearly see price grabbed the liquidity and went all the way back to the upside and grabbed this next liquidity price is always grabbing liquidity taking those unprofitable traders out of their trades guys it's very simple so once you see this structure and all this good stuff you want to mark this zone out so clearly this is the first zone you want to mark out once you mark that out and also this is an equal highs that price took its liquidity to so this video i will show you guys two examples on how to use this strategy Alright, so after you're done adding all that to your chart, you want to go down to the five minute time frame for your entry. So the five minute time frame is where I like to find my entries and you know my stop loss and all this good stuff and find the supply demand zone. But it depends. You can also use the three minute time frame in case you don't see um, the setup you're looking for on the five minute time frame. Alright, so let's see. Let's check if we can see a setup here. And, and it clearly looks like there's no supply demand zone that stands out because I want to see consecutive candlestick push and as you can see there's a, there's actually a um, a decent um, demand zone right here but it does not give me that active um, there's no multiple candlestick retracement before the supply demand so you want to go to let's say the three minute time frame so on the three minute time frame as you can clearly see price made a swing high up here came back grabbed the liquidity to the downside at this point did not make a new lows but instead it gave us the supply demand zone but we only enter the supply demand zone only if this setup i'm about to show you guys only if this entry setup did not show up so as you can clearly see after we saw this swing high price came back to retest it so once price retested that is where we'll be taking our trade that is where we'll be taking our trade for a buy, stop loss slightly below, take profit, maybe this, um, the highest point before the push the downside, let's say down here, which is going to give us a decent three points, almost a four to one on this one trade. So this is when I would say this supply demand zone doesn't stand anymore because price has already moved and has done its thing. Because if price does not retest this structure, this structure, um, this swing lows, then I would suggest you take um, the trade off of this supply demand zone on the next uh, the next time price returns to that zone. In case you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'll keep making more videos like this, explaining in depth on how the strategy works. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. It's very important and leave a like on this video. And if if you want, if you have someone that wants to watch videos like this, make sure to share it with them, guys. And also my Telegram group is open. I'm changing my vip group is no longer vip it's no longer paid it's actually free if you want to join the link is in the description for 
you know i'll be opening this for the next one month so if you guys are interested in joining the vip group then give it a shot so as you can see um this is the next structure high you know we marked out two zones so this is the second zone up here and as you can clearly see price gave us a structure shift but the difference with this one right now is price did not retest it are you getting me guys so price did not retest this structure which means this should be my entry this structure down here should be my is is that it not should be it is our entry so we mark that out and clearly you can see that this one got tagged in because you know price came back we test our structure and went the way all the way up so i would just say okay you can just be more um static just take a four to one on that trade and life life's good so and as you can clearly see price came back like guys look, look at the precision guys price did something very very precise price literally like in the literal sense it literally came back to that zone we marked out and it clearly gave us an entry as you can see a beautiful entry down there um, up here and stop loss you know slightly above just give it a little bit of a breathing room slightly above that and you can take a four to one so this is our four to one and you can clearly see that price went even way up like price went nuts price went absolutely crazy so it all depends on what you want if you actually want to you know trail your stops and banking all this move like look at this guys this is like an 11 to 1 on this one single trade this one wins like a 6 to 1 plus on this one single trade so it's easy guys i'll be making more videos like this so if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll be dropping in more videos with live trades not just teaching you guys how it works in hindsight i'll be dropping more videos on how to actually trade this trade this strategy on a live account so that's it for this guys and if you guys found value subscribe like share and peace